Pitter patter on the pane. Pitter patter once again. Pitter patter how I strain. Pitter patter but no rain. Whatso does tread my halls, humming low with crooning calls, succubi or hellish thralls, why for do they tread my halls? No creak yet disturbs this floor, no shadows flit beneath the door, my breath will hold no second more, content they seem for now with her. So frail and failed the loosened cry, harsh and drawn the deadened thud, and now nil remains but I, a lonely pawn amidst the blood. Dull crunches fill my coward's ears as all I love is torn asunder. What use have I for earthly fears? What frightens now in rolling thunder? Pray I the stairs avoid their gaze. I pray my whimpers pass them by. Pray I no lust in recess lays. For further flesh, pray I. My ears await the hollow sound Of plodding steps upon the stairs. The keyhole and my eye are bound. I utter not but silent prayers. Creaks clamor along the flight, hauling darkness hewn in hell. Wan and ashen twisted blights shuffle and scratch before my cell. Tattered snouts snort the air. Yellowed snails like daggers scrape. Bloody teeth gnash and bare in wretched maws wide agape. One is like a dream I've known, turned nightmarish in the gloom. Blonde locks like clumps are sown, a mere mockery of her boon. Is that my love? No, no more. But a glint betrays her band. I know each mark and every score, for I placed it on her hand. I think my walls home no more. I'm born beyond in dogged fear. A grubby note slips through the door. I miss you. Do you miss me, dear? You have been listening to Pitter Patter by Philip Courtney. If you enjoyed this reading, and would like to hear more, please like and subscribe. Until next time, all of my freaks, geeks, misfits, madmen, and monsters, bye-bye.